Uh, hello, my name is Joseph Croak. I'm the chairperson of the Chartered Institute of Horticulture of Ireland. Um, and it's an organisation which is across Ireland and uh, Britain. Uh, there's eight different regions in it. We're here today visiting the Community Garden and Edible Landscape Project in Westport. Uh, and uh, kindly you've been given lovely cups of tea and shown around. And it's a wonderful project here with the community um, and we're touching base as the professional organization of horticulture mm. um, in the region. Uh, so we have many members um, and in Ireland uh, it, it spans the whole island of Ireland and once a year we have a wonderful annual trip um, where all of the members can visit generally places that you can't get into otherwise. We get shown around uh, as uh, VIPs um, and um, it's it's very much a study tour uh, where we, we touch base with people, we make contacts and we learn and we share our knowledge uh, as much as possible as well. Um, we're, there, there's a lot of isolated communities of horticulturalists and gardeners um, everywhere and there's an awful lot of really good work which is really required at the moment worldwide if you consider climate change and biodiversity loss, um, if you consider food security um, and all of the impacts of uh, food miles, etc., and the skills which are being lost on a daily basis. Um, horticulture is a wonderful profession for people to get into. It, 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 there's a huge number of people required at the moment. We're importing, we're told, 90% of our fruits and vegetables, which the gross majority of those, they, they should be being produced in uh, the local areas in Ireland and across Europe and in the West. So we have, to an extent in the West, a crisis at the moment that we, we need to do something about. Um, there are good jobs, good incomes, um, sustainable um, professions in horticulture. And we want to try to get that message out to everybody. And we need everyone's help to try to do that because it's a very rewarding, and it's a lot more diverse than people think. It's not just food, it's, it's not just amenity things, it's also energy, it's also climate, it's also biodiversity. All of these things interconnect and into sustainability, and horticulture plays a, a vital role. So we're very happy to be here today, um, and we're looking at the, the, the food and the rewilding project that's also here. Um, and this is really, really a great example uh, of what communities can do. And it's a model which could be applied in many other places around the country.